just a couple years after the Battle of Gettysburg, the following image was taken of South Stratton Street. Now, as you look to the left-hand side, you'll see a weatherboarded house that has like a gingerbread design uh, on its roof. Um, and this is at the corner of East Middle and South Stratton Streets in 1866. And that house was owned by a name, man named Robert Davidson Armour. Um, this is the view in 1866. You can see the house has a, a porch on the second floor. Uh, today, this is the view here. The house, of course, has been vinyl sided, but you can still see the porch remaining. And what we're going to do in today's videos is we're going to walk over and we're going to talk about the man and the house itself and some of the actions that took place here uh, in July of 1863. Um, again, the house was owned by a man, man named Robert Davidson Armour. So this is going to be the Robert Davidson Armour House here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Now, Robert Davidson Armour was born on April the 19th 1824. Um, he was a member of the Odd Fellows fraternity um, of the Getty Lodge here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. In fact, he was the founder of that lodge. Now, in the year 1845, on May the 8th, uh, Mr. Armour was initiated into the Columbus Lodge number 75 in Chambersburg and the Odd Fellows were a fraternal organization much like the Freemasons. Later on August the 18th of 1845 he instituted the Getty Lodge and he went through the chairs and was known as the father of the lodge. He was also a member of the Gettysburg United Methodist Church and that building once stood right here today where the GAR building was. So the church he belonged to was just a couple doors west of his home. Now he was married twice. His first name's wife was Adelia and his second wife after her death he married was Adelia's sister Lavina. Now his trade by profession was that he was a gas fitter, a plumber, and a bell hanger and this house here at 101 East Middle Street was his home and even though it is vinyl sided today you can see it has a Civil War building plaque on it right here and as I stated earlier this house was also has the nickname the gingerbread house now on July 1st 1863 Union forces of the 11th Corps under General Otis Oliver Howard passed by this house when retreating up Stratton Street they passed right by this house here which was the armor house on their way to East Cemetery Hill. Later in the afternoon Confederate General Richard S. Yule also passed by this house and he knocked at the door two doors down here of his neighbor John W. Tipton while he was scouting a location for his headquarters. And we've done videos on the Tipton House as well as the Solomon Tipton House which is across the street here from the Robert Davidson Armor House. Um, so General Yule passed by this house on July 1st 1863. Now, one of the little secrets about this house that not many people uh, realize and understand is on the battle, on the, during the Battle of Gettysburg, rather, on July 2nd, the 53rd Pennsylvania was hotly engaged at the wheat field. And we did videos on the 53rd Pennsylvania um, under John Rudder Brook. And you'll want to go back and watch those videos. But while... Uh, engaged there at the wheat field, um, two men from the 53rd Pennsylvania Volunteers were mortally wounded and brought to this house here, the Robert Armored House. Those men were Corporal Daniel Harrington of Company F, 
and Private Robert McGuire of Company F. Um, they were mortally wounded in the wheat field and they were brought here and they died here in this house and were actually buried in the basement of the house. Um, they were buried there for a few days and then their bodies were disinterred and took to the National Cemetery where they were buried in the Pennsylvania plot at the National Cemetery. Uh, Corporal Harrington being in Section A, Grave 21, and Private McClure being in Section A, Grave 20. So they're buried there today next to one another and they have headstones. One of the secrets to the gingerbread house or the Robert Davidson Armor House is these men originally were buried in the basement of this house and as a memento, sometime after the Civil War, and no one is sure where the side porch is here, uh, below the balcony, are actually some of the gravestones. This one's Darrell Harrington. He was the Corporal Company, Daniel Harrington, rather, Corporal Company F. And then next to him is Robert McClure. And if you look, it's not finished. The headstone stops at Robert Mick. So the headstones, and these are identical to the headstones type that you see in the National Cemetery. So whether they were the original National Cemetery stones uh, that were later moved back here to the house, or they were privately put in here, they have been incorporated here into the armor house uh, on the porch, on the side porch. And again, if you look in the 1866 photo, the house retains the same style, uh, has the gingerbread ab along the, the top of the roof line which was later removed, but you can still see the ornate woodwork in the bottom half. So this has been the Robert Davidson Armor House and Secrets of the Battlefield here on Gettysburg Battlefield. Hey, this is going to be the Robert Davidson Armor House Part 2 and also Secrets of the Battlefield. Um, for those of you that watched part one, uh, of course you've seen the story about the two soldiers from the 53rd Pennsylvania uh, who were brought here after being mortally wounded uh, in the wheat field. Uh, they were taken here and they were died, buried in the basement, um, and then later removed to the National Cemetery. And for some reason, probably because the stone uh, was unfinished, it was scrapped and they had another headstone in the National Cemetery today and the original uh, that was cut was part of the porch uh, and it was put down here onto the porch as, as like a tribute to the two men and that's in itself is very very interesting and a neat little secret but one other secret I was able to unearth about this house and it's never been published anywhere talked about it's not on any websites that I know of was that if you look in the 1866 photograph we talked about the gingerbread design around the roof um, and of course this house has been modernized with vinyl siding though it does it has the original framework to it um, I was able to locate a piece of the original green colored gingerbread and if you walk here behind the house and I do have permission from the owner she she runs a beauty shop here today um, she gave me permission to do this video and treat all of you to this special find. Um, but she wasn't even aware that this was back here, this large piece of wood. Um, and I showed it to her a few minutes ago, so we're going to take a, a look at it. This here, against the side of the house, is actually a piece of the original gingerbread um, that sat on the house here. It was painted green and it still has a little remnants of the paint on it but most of it and it's quite decayed. Um, but this is a piece of the original gingerbread woodwork that used to trim the roof of the house. Um, and you can see quite clearly uh, in the photograph for instance this piece here uh, would be right here and then right here where it's broken off it used to come to a loop with holes in it and if you examine the original photograph 
Now, of course, over the years, someone painted and repainted the original uh, green color. It looks like some type of uh, also design work that was put on this. But this is the uh, original piece uh, of the wood, and it's quite rotted out, but it's the original piece of the wood uh, that dates back to the time of the Civil War, and of course when that photograph was taken in 1866, uh, that's still laying here on the side of the barn. Um, just as a, a curiosity, um, the lady that owns the shop actually runs a beauty shop inside. Um, and she asked me if I wanted to buy the house. <laughs> of course, I told her I didn't have the money, but I said I would mention it. Uh, if there would be any, anybody that would be interested, that has money, uh, that would like to purchase a Civil War home here in Gettysburg that has some historical significance and the secrets that we talked about today, um, you might want to stop by and uh, knock on the door of uh, 101 and 102 uh, East Middle Street and uh, make an offer on this. This is a really special piece of property. Um, very rarely talked about uh, or known about, obviously. And we've been able to uncover some factual information. Um, I had heard a few years ago that there were Confederates still buried uh, in the attic, or, or, or rather in the basement. Uh, of this house and I actually seen one time a, a ghost tour come by and give a story on the house where they stated that the gravestones were two confederates but after doing the research again these were men from the 53rd Pennsylvania who were uh, mortally wounded brought here died uh, and buried here as a temporary burial spot until they were removed to the National Cemetery um, and this once beautiful weatherboard gingerbread style house was later remodeled and put vinyl siding but for someone that has some money um, I, I would assume that ripping the siding off and maybe uh, redoing some weatherboard and maybe putting that historic design of the gingerbread back up here on the roof would be a really cool idea to do to try to bring this property back to its 1863 appearance and look this has been the Robert Davidson Armor House also known as the gingerbread house on Gettysburg Historic Walking Tours.